Hello guys, welcome to this video on image and video database in the multimedia system. In this video, we will dive into how multimedia data like images and videos are represented, stored and retrieved. We will explore the concepts like the image representation, the segmentation, retrieval techniques and uh, indexing structures. We will uh, also take a look at case studies like the QBIC, Wiredge, which are the significant in the world of the multimedia databases. So let's get started with uh, learning. At first, the image representation. In the multimedia databases, image representation is the process of converting the visual data we see in into a format that can be stored and processed digitally. Each image is made up of pixels and these pixels are represented in a matrix or the like the grid structure. The color information of these pixels can be in formats like the RGB or the grayscale. Image compression techniques such as JPEG helps to reduce the file size for easier storage. Effective image representation is crucial for the efficient retrieval and uh, manipulation of the image data. The choice of the representation affects both the quality and the storage efficiency of the image. So the image segmentation. Image segmentation is the technique of dividing an image into the distinct parts, making it easier to analyze and interpret. The goal is to simplify the image by isolating the meaningful areas such as the objects or regions of interest. This can be done based on features like the color, texture or boundaries. In the practical terms, segmentation is used for tasks like the face detection, the object recognition and the medical imaging. Techniques like edge detection, thresholding or clustering are commonly used for the segmentation. Segmentation allows multimedia systems to retrieve more accurate and specific image information. Okay. So now the similarity based retrieval. Similarity based image retrieval helps to find the images that are visually similar to a given example. In multimedia system images are compared based on features like the color distribution, shapes or texture patterns. For instance searching for images of flowers would retrieve similar images based on colors and shapes of petals. This method is used in various applications from online image searches to the medical diagnostic. It enhances user experience by providing the results that are visually close to the query image, helping the users to find what they need more efficiently. So now the image retrieval by color, shape and the texture. Image retrieval can Images can be retrieved from the multimedia databases based on the specific visual characteristics like the color, shape and texture. Color retrieval used like the histogram to match the color patterns between the images. Shape based retrieval focuses on identifying the objects by comparing their outlines or the edges. Texture based retrieval on the other hand looks for patterns within an image such as smoothness or the roughness. Combining these attributes make the retrieval process more accurate and relevant. This technique are especially useful in the industry like the fashion, design and content creation where the visual data is crucial. So now the indexing. Indexing is vital for efficiently searching and retrieving the images in a large multimedia databases. Structures like the query tree, art tree and quad tree are used to organize the data specially. Query trees are especially helpful for the nearest neighbor searches where the system finds the closest match to a query. Art tree are useful for the multi-dimensional data often applied in geographical or the spatial searches. Quadrants divide the data into the four quadrants, making 
the retrieval faster by narrowing down the search area. These indexing structures improve the speed and the accuracy of the image retrieval processes. We will solve uh, numerical questions after uh, this video. Okay. So, so now the case study QBIC query by image content. So QBIC or the query by image content is one of the earliest systems that allows the users to search for the images based on their visual features. It is developed by the IBM. QBIC focuses on the color, shape and texture to retrieve the relevant images from the database. Instead of relying on text or tags, user can query the system by uploading an image or sketching an example and QBIC finds similar content. This technique is useful in the industries like the fashion, medical imaging and art where the visual similarity is crucial. QBIC revolutionizes the how multimedia databases handle the image searches. Okay. So now the case study, the Virage. Virage is a content based image retrieval system that allows the users to search for images based on multiple visual features like unlike the QBIC which mainly focus on the color, shape and texture. Virage offers flexibility by allowing users to combine these features in different ways. It is widely used in the digital asset management system, particularly in the industries like the healthcare, the video production and surveillance. Virage enables quick and precise retrieval of image or videos, making it a powerful tool for multimedia databases. The system helps users to interact with a large dataset efficiently. So now the video content and querying. Video content querying enables the users to search and retrieve the specific video segments based on keywords or the visual patterns. The process involves analyzing the video often through the keyframe extraction and tagging the specific scenes with metadata. For example, in a news broadcast, different topics can be tagged, allowing users to search for and jump directly to the desired part. This makes the video databases more user friendly, especially in the large repositories like the streaming platforms, educational archives and uh, media libraries. It saves time by allowing the quick accesses to the relevant video content. Okay. So now the video segmentation. The video segmentation refers to dividing a video into the meaningful sections or scenes for the easier navigation and retrieval. This is done by identifying the scene transition, significant changes in the content or the audio cues. Segmentation is widely used in the video editing, the multimedia databases and digital libraries. For instance, an action scene in a movie can be segmented out from the, the dialogue scenes for the quick retrieval. Segmentation technique help, the, help to manage the large video files, allowing the users to focus on the specific part of interest without watching the entire video. So now the video indexing. It is the process of organizing and tagging the video content with relevant keyword, metadata or keyframe to make it easily searchable. This process allows the users to quickly navigate through the vast amount of video data. Indexing is commonly used in the video streaming services, archives and educational platforms. By tagging the scenes or frames with descriptable labels, users can search for a specific topics or events within a video. Video indexing significantly improves the retrieval process, making it easier to find the relevant video content quickly. So now let's wrap up our video on image and video databases in the multimedia systems. We have explored the key concept like the image representation, the segmentation, the retrieval methods and uh, video content querying. We also saw the practical case studies like the QBIC and the Virage, which show how real world multimedia systems handle the data. I hope you found this information useful and uh, insightful. 
stay tuned for more videos so don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching